The Tale of Call and the Lost Oil Money I remember the day like it was yesterday. It was the dry season, hot and dusty, and Call was as naughty as ever. He wasn't bad, just his mind could never stay still. That day, Call's mother called him. Call, she shouted from inside their mud brick house. Go to the market and buy palm oil so we can cook lunch. I'm warning you, don't lose this money. Carl nodded quickly, grabbed the small, folded Nara notes, and tucked them into his short pocket. I will go, mama, he said, already running off before she could say more. Now, if you knew Carl, you would know that he was fast on his feet, but slow to remember any warning given to him. He hadn't taken more than a few strides down the narrow path to the market when he heard laughter. It came from a group of boys playing soup, that game where you hop on one leg, picking stones from numbered squares drawn in the sand. Carl's legs itched to join. I'll just play one round, he told himself. But where would he keep Mama's money? Without thinking twice, he dug a small hole in the sand, placed the money inside, and covered it up carefully. No one will know, he whispered, already jumping into the game. Well, one round turned to two, then three. The sun moved across the sky, and before long, it was evening. Cole wiped sweat from his face and remembered the oil. Aye, he yelped, running back to the spot where he had buried the money. He dug furiously, sun flying everywhere. But the hole was empty. He dug deeper, wider, even as the other boys stopped playing to watch. Where's the money, Cole? one teased. Did you bury it with a spirit? Panic rose in Carl's chest. He scratched his head, stomped his feet, and searched, but it was useless. The money was gone. By now, it was dark, and he had to go home empty-handed. He dragged his feet all the way, stomach heavy with fear of Mama's scolding. When he got home, Mama stood at the door, hands on her hips. Carl, where is the oil? Carl gulped. Oh. Mama, you see. I. I buried the money and. You what? The whole compound burst out laughing as Carl tried to explain how the money disappeared into the sand. Mama was not amused, but even she couldn't stay angry for long. After all, only Carl could bring such trouble. From that day on, whenever he passed the market, people teased him, saying, Carl, don't bury your head in the sand like you buried the money. And that, my friends, is the tale of how Carl learned, sort of, that focus matters, at least a little. But don't trust him with oil money. Hope you enjoyed this little story.